Berlin is inclined to allow Ukraine to hit Russia with German weapons. The German government is cautiously backing away from its reservations about allowing Ukraine to attack military targets on Russian territory with supplied weapons. Politico recalls that Chancellor Olaf Scholz said that Ukraine could use weapons supplied by Germany within the framework of international law which would allow them to be used against an aggressor such as Russia. It is noted that this was not as clear as in other countries on this topic. Berlin moved to clear up confusion about what Scholz means. Scholz's spokesman, Stefan Hebestreit, told reporters that Ukraine's defensive actions are not limited to its own territory and can extend to the territory of the aggressor. At the same time, he emphasized that he could not disclose the exact agreements with Kiev on the use of German weapons since they are confidential. Hebestreit further argued that Scholz's statement from a year ago in which he said there was a consensus that Ukraine would not use German weapons on Russian soil was a statement of fact that was correct at the time, but not necessarily applicable to the future. A person familiar with the German government's position also said Scholz favored allowing Western weapons to be used against targets inside Russia without elaborating. It seems strange to me, Scholz told, when some people debate and say that Ukrainians are not allowed to defend themselves and take appropriate measures for this. The Allies are responding to pressure from Kyiv to explicitly allow Ukraine to hit targets inside Russia with Western weapons to stop the counter-offensive and bombing of Moscow. French President Emmanuel Macron, speaking alongside Scholz on Tuesday, said, We must allow the Ukrainians to neutralize military sites from which missiles are launched, but not other civilian or military targets. Other countries leave even less ambiguity. Polish weapons supplied to Ukraine have no restrictions. Ukrainians can use them at their own discretion, said Deputy Defense Minister Cesar Tomczyk. The temporarily occupied Crimea is restless again. On the night of May 30 a series of explosions rang out in Kerch. This is reported by local telegram channels. The occupiers blocked traffic with the illegally built Crimean bridge, but it was later restored. A resident of occupied Kerch told Sespilno in a comment that there were at least six explosions in the city. It's very loud in the city right now. Six to seven explosions of approximately the same force were heard. The windows in the house shook a little, said a resident of Kerch. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine attacked occupiers' boats in the temporarily occupied Crimea. We are probably talking about vessels of the KS-701 Tuna type. According to the UP, citing sources in the special services, the boats were attacked by maritime drones of the Magura V-5GUR. The attacks took place near the village of Chernomorskoy, Epitoria region. The enemy actively used aviation, small arms and artillery to counter the attack, but to no avail, the source noted. According to SPMI sources, Crimea was attacked with missiles and drones. Two ferries were damaged in the Kerch Strait. According to the Minister of Transport of the Annexed Peninsula, Nikolai Lukashenko, car and railway ferries were damaged by debris from downed missiles. There are no casualties among sailors or civilians. After assessing the damage, the ferry crossing will be resumed, Lukashenko wrote in his Telegram channel. Residents of Kerch reported that they heard about 20 explosions in the city at night, writes the Russian telegram channel Astra. The Ukrainian TV channel Suspiln reported, citing a local resident, that six explosions occurred in Kerch. During the attack, traffic on the Crimean bridge was blocked for about an hour. The Russian Ministry of Defense said that at night air defense systems shot down eight Atoms missiles over the Azov Sea and intercepted eight drones over the Black Sea near Crimea.